Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. Today we are going to discuss about pattern recognition receptors. If a pathogen breaches the physical barrier, the innate immune system provides an immediate but non-specific response. The innate response is usually triggered by microbes which are identified by pattern recognition receptors. In short, PRR. These receptors are our sensor machines which detect molecules typical for the pathogens. Remember, cells do not have sensory organs like eyes or ears to detect the foreign things. They have sensors that can differentiate between self and non-self and these sensors are known as PRR, Pattern Recognition Receptors. What PRR sense are the specific part of virus, bacteria and parasites. These specific parts are called as PAMPs, Pathogen Associated Molecular Patterns. Also there are DAMPs, these are Damage Associated Molecular Patterns. These are associated with the components of host cells that are released during cell damage. Because a non-functional cell part is also harmful, therefore immune system also detect these dams and clear the dams from our body. PRR sensors are of three types, membrane-bound sensors, cytoplasmic sensors and inflammasomes. Membrane-bound sensors include receptor kinases, toll-like receptors, C-type lectin receptors. Cytoplasmic PRR includes not like receptors and rig like receptors. The inflammasomes are multi protein complexes that help to detect PAMPs and DAMPs. Pattern recognition receptors play a crucial role in the proper function of innate immune system. PRR are germline encoded host sensors which detect molecules typical for the pathogens. They are proteins expressed mainly by cells of the innate immune system such as dendritic cells, macrophages, monocytes, neutrophils and epithelial cells. PAMPs include bacterial carbohydrates such as lipopolysaccharide or mannose, nucleic acids such as bacterial or viral DNA, bacterial peptides such as flagellin or microtubules, peptidoglycans and lipotechoic acids. PRRs in human medicine Node 2 has been associated through a loss and gain of function with development of Crohn's disease. Mutations in Nod2 incorporation with environmental factors lead to the development of chronic inflammation in intestine. Another possible exploitation of PRRs in human medicine is also related to tumor malignancies. The PRRs are also tightly connected to the proper function of neural networks and tissues, especially because of their involvement in the process of inflammation. I hope the presentation was helpful for you to understand PRRs, PAMPs and DAMPs, what are the different examples of these receptors and what are the functions of these receptors. Please stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel.